Haley Creates. And my lips look like they're not there. Okay. So, anyways, uh, today I'm going to do a video on five different fonts that you can do easily in your bullet journal or in your notes or wherever you want to do them. So, just a little backstory on today. Turns out that it's going to be raining pretty hard, but that's kind of what they always say and it never happens because I live in California and we don't have rain. So, I'm kind of just like, kind of on the edge. I don't really think it's going to happen if it doesn't. I guess it's good because it's kind of dangerous but anyways on that note of being dangerous in a few vlogs earlier during Christmas I actually did a vlog and in that vlog it was like vlogmas day like probably four because it was like December 4th or 5th I was doing that vlog and all of a sudden I just heard like helicopters and stuff and there was a fire like well, not right behind my house but like in my town like on the mountains because we have mountains and then like I live underneath the mountains so that was kind of scary but yeah basically we had a huge fire if you look it up it's called the Thomas fire it was a huge thing it started like like I could see the mountain on fire that's how close it was <laughs> so that was really scary that night and I got the whole night on my vlog and it was just really scary. I was basically just kind of having you guys live through the night with me and hear what I was thinking and what was going on and like evacuating and stuff. But we're all good. I'm in my house and I'm blessed because not all of my friends got to go back home. Some of them are living in hotels still. So yeah, it might be kind of scary because with rains and mountains, of course, there can be huge landslides and I think like last month in Montecito there was a huge mudslide and a bunch of people were killed and stuff and it just didn't stop till it hit the ocean and that was really scary and they said the rains are supposed to be worse than that today which I've been waiting all day and not one drop of rain there was like a few sprinkles and stuff but it said it was supposed to be like downpour so we'll see but anyways <laughs> I'll get into the video and I hope you guys like it bye bye so this first font is really really good for notes or for your bullet journal especially for headings this one is perfect i do it for all the headings of my notes it's basically just a really blocky font that you're supposed to use a wide tip marker with and you're just gonna make like fat wide lines and then put like not really shading you're gonna do like a line on the back sides of each letter even if it's an e you're gonna curve it stuff like that and it's going to kind of give it like this 3D effect and it looks really nice, especially for notes and stuff, like I said. So yeah, that's the first font. This next font uses pretty much the same premise for the first font. You can do the block letters with whatever color you want. I prefer to use the Crayola Super Tips and I just make the fat lines, like I said, all caps. And I like to put, I like to take a thin black pen and draw whatever I just like said in the word and put it in cursive within each letter. <laughs> this is kind of an easier way. I've seen girls do where like they do like half the letter and then like the bottom half and then they put it in between that but that takes like super long. So if you're doing this in a rush for notes, this is super easy. You basically just do like cursive over the letters that you just did. And make sure that the bottom letter is definitely a lighter color because if it's not then you won't be able to see it. But for the third font, this is a super popular font that you see on Pinterest and in other bullet journals and stuff. This one is a font that's going to be kind of hard to master as far as doing it freehand. But definitely really easy to do with a pencil. That's kind of my hack and I'll show you that. I like to outline the letters with a pencil and first learning the outline, like learning what to draw, that can be kind of hard but you can always reference this video and you'll eventually get the hang of it. So the shape is pretty much every time you finish your letter, you're going to go up or anytime that like an R connects to the little arm, you're going to make that skinny and make the next line fat. So another way to say it is pretty much every time you drag your pen down, that's going to be a fat line. Um, you guys can just watch me and just see how I do it. That's pretty much the easiest way that I learned it. I don't really connect the letters yet because I kind of like the way it looks when they're not connected together, which is usually what the little arm is for. But I just like the way it looks and it's kind of easy to write like that, like 
just regular for like an essay or something you can start like lifting up the bottoms of the letters and you don't even notice and it's just like kind of a cool thing to pick up the next one is to take a fat marker maybe with a chisel tip or whatever you want i like the Crayola super tips like usual and i will take the fat side of the marker and i'll draw like a really pretty cursive kind of like just your basic cursive um, keep the capitals capital, keep the lowercase, the lowercase, lowercase, <laughs> and I'll kind of try to do thin and thick, whatever looks good to you, however you do your cursive, and I'll draw cursive, and then I'll take a black pen, and I'll do the same thing as the first one, and put little lines behind it, and it makes it look really pretty, it kind of gives it like a vintage retro look, and it kind of, like, to me, it kind of looks like a glowing sign. I just love the way it looks. And at the end, you can add, like, a little tail or, like, a little whip, whatever you want to do. So, for the next one, this one's actually really simple, but it's definitely going to be the base for pretty much all of your bullet journal pages. You got to use this somewhere. It's just the basic straight letters, all uppercase, kind of chunky and short, and it looks really nice. I just use, usually I try to use a really thin black pen, and I'll just do as straight as, as straight as I can, even if I use a straight edge, I'll use a straight edge and I'll make straight little tiny lines, <laughs> and then do like the tops of the T's and like the tops of the E's and the bottoms and stuff, and it looks really good just having like straight, chunky, like block letters. And then I take one of my colors that's lighter than that and I go over it in like a nice thick line. And I don't know, it just like looks really clean and it's a really good thing to know how to do. I didn't do it a lot when I started and now that I do it I see that my pages look like so much cleaner. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and I hope it kind of helped you out. I love doing handwriting and I do it all the time. And yeah. I hope you guys had fun and I hope you guys got inspired. Follow me on my Instagram down below or in the outro. And follow me on Pinterest if you want to see even more creative things. And yeah, I have a website which I might link down below because it has some pretty cute stuff.